Man, man, man. NBA goddamn young boy. You cannot stay out of trouble, huh, bro? You just can't stay out of trouble, huh? The, the NBA young boy problem. Let's get it. 63 new charges. 63? Yes, you heard it right. NBA young boy has been slapped with... 60, 63 young boy? Brother, you supposed to be... Bro, you supposed to be getting off house arrest and touring, my nigga. I've been waiting for you to come back to my city for the longest. But you can't stay out of fucking trouble, a bit. You really be blowing it. Total with 63 new felonies stemming from suspicion of identity fraud, forgery, identity. weapons, and drug offenses, where he was to believe to be posing as a fake doctor, calling in for fraudulent prescription pills using real doctors' names, Bro, and would even use fake patient names and birthdays to get the pills that was needed from multiple different pharmacies, you which doesn't look or sound good at all for young boy, considering he's already on probation. Not only that, but as we all know, he's been on house arrest since October 2021. Bro, you, bro this... Bro... You that you that addicted? Come on, young boy. You that addicted? You can't go a day without a drug, bitch. Cause I ain't lying. To be fair, every time I seen your ass, you always either was you smoking, got a cup in your hand, you know, and you know what's in that cup. Popping, you know what? Like, brother, like, what what's good? Like the mental good, what's going on, young boy? You stressed out? The industry stressing you out, bro. What's going on, sir? Like, we need answers, bro. We really do need answers, bro. But this nigga back in trouble, so... I don't know, bro. This nigga never getting off house arrest at this point, bit. And, like, if they do release him, because it's... I guess he currently in in jail. I, I don't know, bro. This shit. Federal gun case. And now it only seems like that things are going to get worse for him with this whole situation happening. And on one hand, I often question these rich rapper celebrities and wonder why is it so hard for guys like Kodak Black, NBA Youngboy, and Takashi 69 to stay out of jail. Why? I get that they came from a rough upbringing and were accustomed to a certain lifestyle. But arrest after arrest after arrest after arrest, and you start to question: Do these guys enjoy being locked up more than? <laughs> Freedom. Yep. <laughs> the circumstance of NBA Youngboy's situation and the whole black case has been fighting since them near the beginning of the decade. True freedom seems like a far cry to him at this point in his life. And sadly, it's more than likely going to stay that way for a very long time. And I often wonder, for guys like Youngboy with a lengthy criminal history that dates as far as back as their youthful childhood and adolescence, plays a part in the continuous trouble that occurs today with the harsh sentencing he's received. Like NBA Youngboy, Meek Mill was also also very troubled at a young age growing up in the gritty streets of philly where he would be in and out of jail constantly as a young teen for That's minor crazy. misdemeanors and petty charges but in january 2007 at the age of 18 meek would get arrested by philadelphia's narcotic fields unit after he was caught by an informant a day prior selling crack Damn. and to make things worse while his place was being raided for his arrest one of the officers claimed that meek was pointing a gun at him during their dispute which in turn would cause the officers to use violent force towards meek using his head oh, as a that's, battering oh, so that's to, that power remember wasn't this a uh, album cover of his one time oh, i'm tripping i could have sworn the that door to album. find a stash of cash of money him and his cousin william bailey made while william claimed that the police out the gate came in and punching and kicking meek but regardless on what really happened meek would spend several months in the county prison and would face Look, 19 this, this meek mill real name i never knew this nigga real name robert williams i never knew that 6'2", this nigga 6'2"? Meek Mill, see, 6'2"? Charges, where he would be found guilty of seven of them with four pertaining gun possession and would be sentenced two years in a county prison and eight years of probation. Yes, eight whole years of probation. Sounds kind of familiar, years. don't it? Almost like they're waiting for him to mess up again, even if it takes damn near 10 years to. But once Meek got out after serving a two-year prison sentence, it was almost like a bittersweet moment. Because on one hand, you're not waking up in a cell every day and being told when to eat, when to shower, or when to go to sleep. But then again, Meek still had had eight years of probation still under the supervision of the law at his own place while still having a curfew still having weekly checkups with his po still not being allowed to be around certain people sounds kind of familiar right <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. 
I brought up Meek Mill's situation to point out the major similarities that him and Youngboy has in the legal system. And before you comment saying that their criminal cases aren't the same, trust me, I already know that and understand that everybody's situation is different. And in this case, Youngboy's freedom might be more at jeopardy considering that he's going against the feds. But unconventional yeah. lengthy sentences has also man, been- y'all think Youngboy, bro, I don't know, son. It might be a wrap for this nigga at this point, son, cause I don't know, so he keep putting himself in this shit. Like you, you putting yourself in this shit, bro. Like at the end of the day, it's it's your decision making that's that got these people on your ass like this, brother. Cause you still doing shit that these people don't really want your ass to do, but you keep you giving them a reason to fuck with you, bro. Like you literally giving them a reason, brother. You you was on house arrest for the longest, and you gonna do some dumb shit like this, bro. Now, don't get it twisted. Your ass been on your grind, because I ain't going to cap. Before he got arrested with this shit, that nigga was dropping consistently, though. I ain't going to cap. Like, that nigga had hit after hit coming. Like, he wasn't playing with niggas. But <sighs> old young boy always got to end up in some type of shit, bro reality for his life also and with new charges he get accused of on a yearly basis i don't really see him escaping this entrapped system unless he's doing real prison time and a lot of people won't feel bad for him because being objective here young boy has had countless amounts of second chances that a regular guy can never afford he's violated probations he's been on a high speed chase with a helicopter and k9 he's got a second That's chance crazy. at life after his murder charge he's partially allowed some sort of mental freedom at grave digger mountain whereas he's surrounded by the best people for his best interest instead of being in prison yeah, awaiting his trial up. is it really the legal system that's out for young boy's head or is it the simple fact that he's never learned this lesson due to the second chances and slap on the wrist he's got time after time Niggas again because if you ask me it lies somewhere done. in the middle not just with the law targeting him because he's a famous rapper young boy is constantly just fucking up and it gets to a point where at first you have sympathy for him because you understand how hard his life was yeah, growing nigga, up yeah, no like, nigga figure. got a little sympathy for you like nigga understand that but at the end of the day bro it's your decision like you you put yourself in this position so it's like what do you expect man like you know his mom's not really having a good relationship some of his relatives and best friends getting killed and locked up and you compliment that with him being 13 14 15 16 years old and it makes total sense for him to get in trouble but when you're now a 23 24 25 year old millionaire and you have no reason to be involved in that life and you and you still indulge in it the problem is you bruh but these are my thoughts and opinions about young boy's most recent arrest y'all be sure to leave y'all's down below and why do you think young boy's always getting arrested so much is it a psychological issue behavioral issue or is it simply he just loved the life he used to live and can't escape it please let me bro, i don't know what the fuck it is but hopefully this nigga get his fucking act together bro because you really blowing it nigga really trying to go to a young boy concert son and your ass can't stay out of jail so you need to figure it out bro but y'all comment below what y'all think bro i don't know son because i can't understand I it but bro. like the video comment share subscribe have a nice day yeah bro y'all comment below what y'all think about this situation bro I, I hopefully this nigga could get another chance bro but i don't know son it might be a wrap for that nigga bro i ain't gonna lie son he he just can't get his act together bro but man